Okay, so now we are going to film the changing of the nozzle in case we ever need to change the nozzle. Alright, you will go to... Okay, go to maintenance, go to advanced, alright, go up to heat up nozzle. Okay, so go to the temperature that you are heating up. So most likely it will be 220. Or rather 210. 210 to 220. Mm -hmm. Okay, so use the cloth, alright. Once it heat up already, wipe out, wipe the nozzle heat. Yep. Alright, wipe the nozzle head. Okay, so once you're done with that, okay, you can use a wrench. Go into the, to the, to the gauge, wind on it. Okay, start removing by turning clockwise. Mm. Once you turn clockwise, okay, you can just release as per normal and all this. Okay. Alright, use a cloth because it's hot. Okay, remove the whole entire or should we invest in a pair of gloves so that uh glove also will heat unless your glove is heat resistant. Okay. I mean there there are such heat resistant gloves yeah, around now. Okay, so okay. this is to remove the nozzle. Yeah. Alright. So to place in it order to install, okay, just make sure that it is a new one or you want to clean it or whatsoever. Place it back. Or we can wait for the nozzle to cool down first, and then we use our hands. Uh, Is cannot, that possible? Because the whole the material will actually um, harden, and then when it harden, right? Okay, uh -huh. you might break the internal part. Okay. So while you are changing and all that, it is still being heated up, right? Yes. Okay. As long as you get a bite on it, then you can start turning with the wrench. And then the most important part is to use the wrench, okay, turn anti clockwise just to tighten the open nozzle. Okay, and then once you reach the end, okay, just give a tight tuck, and then you're done. Okay. Then click return. Once you click return, you are good enough. Good. Yep. Okay. That's all.